Hi, my name is Yasmin. In light of our recently announced changes to Google Product Search, providing high-quality data is more important than ever. This video is part of our free fold learning path. In this video, we are explaining why we are enforcing high-quality product data and how to improve your data quality along with how you can monitor it. So why is high-quality product data so important to us and should be to you? When users are searching for a product, they often have something very specific in mind. We then show users the most relevant products. The more information we have about your products, that is, the data you provide us in your feed in the Merchant Center, the better we can serve our users in the product search results and send them to your website. Therefore, submit all attributes listed in our feed specifications that apply to your products. By providing all of the relevant attributes and as much data as well as as accurate and fresh data as possible, we can show users products which are most relevant to their search queries. So what can you do to improve your data quality? Your product data must be fresh, accurate, and comprehensive. Accurate and fresh means that the data in your feed is the same data we will show your potential clients in the product search results, and this has to be the same data as on your website. Comprehensive means you submit data as detailed as possible. Given some of our new attributes, such as the variant attributes, this is now much easier. To keep your data accurate and fresh, create your feed right after you've updated your database with the latest information such as price and availability status. Do so again every time anything changes in your product inventory or on your website. That entails submitting your feed to Google at the same time as you update your website. For example, if you update your website every three hours, also update your feed every three hours. We usually update your information within minutes. If your website consists of several parts that are updated individually, create a feed for each of them and submit them at the appropriate time. So, if you update your website multiple times per day or continuously, submit your feed multiple times per day. There are two options to do so, via FTP or via our comprehensive content API for shopping. The Content API for Shopping allows you to provide updates for individual items and update your data to Google Product Search almost immediately as soon as the product information changes in your own system. And what in particular can you do to keep your data comprehensive? Use the Alkalonical tag on your website. Many retailers have several identical product pages for each item. With the Alkalonical tag, your webmaster can indicate which URL you'd like to include on google.com. Submit high-quality images. Include links to the highest quality original images you have. We prefer images that are 400 times 400 pixel, but don't resize the image. Make sure your sites and images are not roboted, or allow that our Googlebot can access your links. This applies to image links just as much as to landing page links. Pay attention to your descriptions and titles. These are important to match products to search queries. So be as descriptive as possible. For variants, for example, include the variant specifics into the title, so we can serve the most relevant product to our users and your potential clients. Also, adhere to our editorial guidelines. For example, include the titles and descriptions as they appear on your website. Avoid unnecessary use of punctuation, capitalization, or symbols. A comprehensive list of our policies can be found in the Help Center. So how can you check whether your data is of high quality? Addressing the issues listed under the Data Quality tab may help improve your data quality. The Data Quality tab is the tab in your Merchant Center account where possible issues with bad data are highlighted. Critical errors may put you at risk of suspension. 
product errors may significantly impact your data quality, but will not result in account suspension. And suggested optimizations can help you further improve your data quality. So how will you be alerted in case your products don't comply? We will showcase any warnings of non-compliance on the dashboard. This is the tab you automatically will be directed to once you log on to your Merchant Center account. If you don't fix critical issues within 7 days, your account may be suspended. If you then fix the issue, it is again under the Data Quality tab where you simply click on I fix all issues to request a re-evaluation. No need to contact us directly. The suspension cycle therefore looks the following. Your products are live on product search. If there is a critical error, there will be a 7-day warning period during which your products will still be live in product search. If you fix the errors within 7 days, you go back to normal. If the critical errors are not fixed, then your products are suspended on product search. The first time they are suspended until you fix them. The second time they are suspended until you fix them plus a 7-day penalty period. And the third time around, the penalty period raises to 30 days. Obviously, if your errors are fixed, you go back to normal again. Let's recap. The Data Quality tab is the tab where you will be able to identify any data quality issues. Keep data accurate and fresh. Use the Air Canonical tag. Submit high quality images. Be wary of rubber text files. Pay attention to description and titles. And always keep in mind our comprehensive policies. And if you still have questions, check out these resources in our Help Center. If you want to, you can now continue straight to the third and last part of our learning path, troubleshooting tools.